I will tell you, if there's a man who has helped the deputy president, Afike Mali Mefika, na support ya wakenya wote, nuyo matiangi, na hii office ya, ya president. Because everything they do, wakifikiria wanamumaliza, wanakuwa nafanya nini? And they should ask themselves, for four years, they have done nothing else, ispokuwa kupiga uyu jama. Hakuna kitu wawajamfanya. Hata jana, for me it was not a big deal, because tumewazoea. They should ask themselves, if indeed what they are doing is helpful, how come he continues to become more and more popular? And if I was president to Uru Kenyatta, and I would like to tell him as a friend, an old friend of his, if there are people you must suck when you are doing the reshuffle to Meskia Unafanya, number one must be Matiangi. He's your biggest, biggest liability kwa serikali yako. Because whatever he does, he takes more and more people away from you. And you must ask yourself why. Your Excellency, hang in there. And I want you to know, the reason they are all fighting you, the reason they are all ganging up, is because you are the strongest in this country today. And they know, they know without a shred of doubt, that you are the next president. I have one last thing to tell you. My friend, you are not the first interior minister. Tumeona wengi bele yako walikuata more powerful than you. But remember one thing. Ata tulikuwa na michuki. Tulikuwa na saitoti wakati ule. Tulikuwa na kina sunkuli wakati wakanu. But I have one thing to tell you, Matiangi. Anytime you are in a position of power, Remember, there will be a day you will exit. And your day is becoming closer and closer and closer. Tafadhali, leave a bridge between you and us. Because ukiteremuka, utatupata. Utatupata. So please treat us with some level of respect, like human beings. Dio tukukutana kwa street, tuweze kusalimiana. Because your day, Matiangi, is coming in a very short time.